Feeling there's got to be uh, plenty of bullets around this area. I'll uh, I'll have a scan. That's where I'll start. See what I can pull out. It's been very quiet. The first signal here is forty-three. Pretty solid. Not too deep. So it actually come out at about seven eight inches, and it come out in the clay line. Got a feeling because it was only seeing two on yeah it was only seen two on the depth uh, it's some kind of lead copper so i've gone into pitch tour and it looks like a bit a bit of a spot here if you found a coin because i've had nothing oh could it be could it be could it be look at that like the date was dropped no patina on it because of the salt water what year is it oh perfect 1945 so it goes in line with the coastal bunkers that we've seen a coin from the same period cracking coin that 1945 penny king george the six if it's fine fishing weight bit of lead for the weighing at the end of the year so you've got high cliffs on the face scarborough there going all the way around then you've got one, two, three, four. I expect there's going to be more down that end as well. I'm just going to pop in there after watching the content back. I wonder if them, they're called pill boxes. They're actually called pill boxes. I wonder if they started on, on that cliff face and because of the erosion, they've ended up on the beach. It could be a possibility. Uh, it looks like a front line beach defence as the sand goes, as the beach goes into the water, it's quite shallow, and that's why surfers use it. And looking at that beach, I've seen a few vi films, to be honest. <coughs> Looks like a bit like the uh, Normandy beach, so it would have been highly guarded uh, because it looks like a great place where you'd set up an attack. Wow, it's hard digging. Uh, yeah, it's just full of pebbles, but it seems like this is where everything is. It came out here. Wow. Ah, oh, size of that. It's like a coffin. Another piece of lead. Now, I was getting interference in patches on the beach. It wasn't all the time, but I'd come up towards, like scattered, you know, a bit of interference here, a bit of interference there. I thought it was my phone, but I've got it in aeroplane mode. So, it's the first time I've actually got auto tracking on. And it's just quieted it right down. It must be the minerals. The minerals in the ground changing. Changing quite a lot. It's a surface find. It's in. Bit of rubbish, clean from the beach. Doing my part, as we all do, of clearing the planet of shite 
so yeah it's really quietened it down the auto tracking um i only ever use it if obviously if the ground is changing quite a lot um you don't really get it much on on fields i do on certain fields where there's a lot of minerals in one area you can tell if there's a mineral patch because that's where the horses uh go to the toilet and they do they do it all in one patch but mostly i've never used auto tracking i do ground balance uh but never used auto tracking but it's working well it's working well there's going to be another piece of lead quite deep this one it was a good nine ten inches that in 20 so that'll be george the fifth great condition i've got a feeling we could have a silver today two predecimal coins that's where most of the people hang out so there'll be loads of modern stuff around there where all the activities go on with the the surfing as such and if you look at the name of the channel it's called history revisited so anything predecimal uh i count as history it is modern history it's it's old enough it's old enough i just want silver i just want silver so Two three decimal coins and we'll get a silver next. Just thinking to myself, if I pull a silver out now, you'll think it's planted. <laughs> Bit iffy. It's good enough to dig that though. Well, it's out. It's very loud. It could be. It could actually be some lead that. I thought it was fully out. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a coin. It is a coin. And another pre decimal that makes three. And it was quite deep. Let's see what we got. Look how smooth that is. It does look like 1911, though. So that was when King George V coming to reign became king. No, it's not silver, but it's another pre-decimal. All been found in this area here. I'm just uh, gridding it out. Just looking at the inside, this cliff face, slowly eroding away. It's a, it's a severe. I mean, it's near enough 90 degrees to the beach that. Oh, I'll be able to tell the scale of it. See the little ants down there? Yeah, they're people. 42. This is actually a better signal than the last one. The last one was a coin. Quite deep. Oh, it might just keep... I don't know if it's just falling in. Oh, no, we've got it out. We have, yeah. The really coins coming up. Got a feeling it's another one. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Missed it. We've missed the silver. Let's just see. 57. Sorry, we missed it by quite a few years. 1957. One shilling. So we missed it by about 11 years. Got another coin. Four coins, four pre decimal. Not too good that way. Nice that way. I feel it's a coin again. So now I'm looking for something shiny as they come up, looking like the day they were dropped. It's in there. And 
he won't see it. Yeah. Was... Oh, what's that? It's just a stone. Let's get the uh, magic wand out. Have a look, Kazam. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yes. We're getting quite a few different kinds now. In the pre decimal range. That was a 1944. Now, we've. What's going on? Obviously, this was with the bunkers down this end was there would have been plenty of soldiers on this beach and I'd like to think that for our fallen comrades say some history I'm over some uh, cat badges come to think of it and this is the spot this is definitely the spot where things have been pulled up and then brought back in uh, down this end by the looks of it because there was nothing up that end Nothing up that end whatsoever. So, I want some silver and I want some cat badges. Pull up on a loose rock and it looks like we've got a surface find and... Oh, it's the back of it. That's, that'll be a military button, that. That's the back. But it's a the better bit that is lost. So that could be from one of our fallen comrades. Here's some lettering right around the perimeter there. To go with my collection, I've got, I think I've got 10 different cat badges that I found. I found one in the back garden, which was a Fusiliers or, or Grenadiers uh, cat badge. Uh, I've got quite a good collection of them, to be honest. I wouldn't mind adding to it some different amount of different varied uh, cat badges out there. It's like jet black and green. It's really seaweed. I don't know if that's oil or that's just happened with, that's what it does, but it looks, it's like a different planet, that. It's crazy the sea life. It is like, I mean, we're going on about aliens, but our planet is alien. We look, especially the sea. We don't see it often, do we? And when we do, it's like, you know, I don't know, it blows the mind. It actually blows some of the stuff that I've seen while, whilst I've been on the beach. It's like, I've never seen before. I think I might have to get out more. Oh, it really is. It really is. You see these movies and that? That's like something out of the blob. I think I'm going to call it there. I want to go further down uh, towards Skegness. I've got to go over to Doncaster, do a job, and then I'm going to eat some inland and beach detecting. Great little spot here though, and I will be coming back. So not only have I found some history that I was after, it's good to think that it could be from some of the fallen comrades. and. I've got one of two detectors as well um, and pinpointers which will be going from my sponsor spinnerdisc.co.uk if you type in my name history of visitors uk you'll get 10 percent off i'm not saying that 100 percent got one of two detectors and two pinpointers but possibility and it was good to see people actually coming over. A lot of people don't even bother, but I've had two people. One was a farmer and one was just a lad, just wondering what the tech to go for. And I told them for the price range, what the Texas I think you should get. So one of them wants to really get into it. One of them just wants to, when he's out with the kids on the beach. So 
yeah, I haven't pushed a certain brand. I've just said what was capable and what was best for their needs. One of them didn't want to spend loads of money on it just for kids and just getting out at the beach was something to do. And one really wanted to uh, get into it. Yeah, it's been an enjoyable couple of hours, I should say. So if you enjoy the content, stick us a thumbs up and I'll uh, see you on the next one. I'm going to get in the van time machine and race to the next destination. <laughs>